Hello and welcome to the Comlex Instant Review. Please visit www.comlexflashcards.com for complete Comlex prep resources and also visit and subscribe to our blog to get daily updates as you prepare through medical school. Let's talk about malrotation. This is a very high yield topic for pediatric cardiology. It mainly results from a failure of the midgut to rotate in normal anatomic position during development. What happens is that the colon and the cecum are typically on the left, as you can see on this image study, and you have the duodenum to the right of the spine. So this combination is very important, in addition to having bilious vomiting. Um, what happens is that there's peritoneal bands which cause partial bowel obstruction. And so patients are at high risk for any kind of a necrosis. So what happens in here is that Twisting of the bowel around its mesentery and vascular supply can lead to ischemia, infarction, perforation, and necrosis. On presentation, the patient will present with lethargy, abdominal distension, and bloody stool. This is a surgical emergency. And so, with malrotation, you must consider in every infant with bilious emesis because of its severity. Understand that 30% um, present within the first week of life and 50% within the first month, and this can lead to death, and so it's a very um, important emergency that you need to take care of. Clinical presentation, let's review this again. Bilious emesis, abdominal distension, bloody stools, bloody vomitus, and the typical changes in the anatomical position. On the KUB study, you may see a gasless abdomen with partial or complete small bowel obstruction along with a du double bubble sign and on contrast study you can see a spiral or corkscrew appearance. The study must be done quickly. With lab studies really they're not necessary because the mortality um, of waiting and not operating is so high so you have to make sure that you operate quickly before you have any sort of a necrosis. The operative correction involves doing a LADS procedure where you correct the position of the malrotation. The small bowel descends on the right and the large bowel on the left, and the appendix, which is potentially in the left upper quadrant, is removed sometimes. That was a quick review of malrotation and midgut volvulus. Please visit www.comlexflashcards.com. That's comlexflashcards.com, and also subscribe to our Facebook page in order to get daily updates straight into your inbox or your Facebook page as you prepare for the board exam and go through medical school. Good luck in your preparation.